Sometimes, wounds can be closed with running sutures rather than interrupted sutures, which will allow you to complete the task faster without all of the knots associated with multiple interrupted sutures. Rather than putting individual sutures between the dots, we're going to place a single suture that will connect the dots with one line. To accomplish this, first start by placing a simple suture at one end of the closure. Load the needle, the same way we have in the past. Pick a pair of dots and place a simple suture as we have done before. Lift both sides, come through. Supinate the needle on through and leave about 5 centimeters on the other end. Again, instrument tie. Start away from yourself, wrap around twice, continue towards yourself. Start towards, continue away. Start away, continue towards. Start towards, continue away. Start away, continue towards. And one more. In this case, you want to cut off the short end, leaving a tag of about five millimeters. Now, we have to make a decision of whether we want the sutures to be parallel, straight with one another, or diagonal. My personal thought is that most patients like to see nice parallel sutures that look like railroad tracks, so that will be the technique we examine. Load your needle once again. Now, start right where you ended with the simple suture. Lift the skin up with your forceps. Enter at a right angle. and advance underneath the skin toward the next dot down. Hold onto the skin as you pull the needle through. Now, put the next entry bite directly across from where the needle came out. This will create a nice parallel line. Load the needle again. Lift up on the skin. Enter perpendicularly. Exit perpendicularly one dot down. Hold the skin as you supinate the needle through. Note that we are establishing a parallel line that the patient will see. Again, load the needle. Pick up on the skin. Enter at a perpendicular angle. Advance to the next dot. Exit at a perpendicular angle and rotate the needle on through. Now we will do two more of these before we tie. Now since this is the last suture, you still have to put a knot in it. So you can use the apex of the previous suture as the grasping point for our instrument tie. Make certain you have left a nice gentle curve on the last row that you accomplished. Then do a simple instrument tie and grab the loop at the end of the suture. You will see that the result is a triangular knot that accomplishes the task. And then we go back and forth like we have in the past. When you're done, cut off the end. The result is a set of nice parallel throws that tend to look better to the patient. How do you think you're doing? Practice this by completing two running closures with six cross sutures each. You might want to practice on the lines without dots for a little more experience. The next segment will demonstrate the vertical mattress suture.